Race Gamer. I'm here with Matt Holm, the CEO of Rooster Teeth. How you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Good to be here with you. Good. Well, congratulations on RTX and 10 years at Rooster Teeth. You've been here for a, for a very long time. Yes. It's amazing to look up all of a sudden, like, doing silly voices week after week, and you're like, holy cow, 10 years just went by. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you've recently transitioned to the CEO role. Um, what is that? Um, most people, uh, mostly I just get to have fun by ordering people around. Yeah. It's like, I need a coffee, people. Come on. Snap to it. CEO time. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been great. You know, I mean, uh, Brittany and I worked together on the business stuff, you know, for a long time and this just felt like a natural transition. He wanted to be able to have more time to do creative stuff. And, uh, I had some kind of business administrative plans that I wanted to put into effect. So it's been a, it's been a really good, uh, uh, plan for us to put into effect. That's awesome. And I mean, of everybody at the Rooster Teeth, um, from Red versus Blue, you have like the most enigma to you. Is that like. Oh, really? Do I? It, I Mr. Mean, Mysteri- I need a mustache to twirl. <laughs> Mr. Mysterious. Was that your choice um, to, to, to not like. To be behind the scenes? To into the spotlight like um, the others have? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe so. I'm not. Uh, I don't try to to run out and be in every interview and you know do every single um, you know kind of big publicity thing, but I really like interacting with the fans one on one. I really like my work in the shows. You know, I'm I'm creatively involved with pretty much everything that we do, and that's really exciting for me. But uh, you know, I like being behind the scenes and just getting a lot of work done. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so what do about Ruby, are you involved with that as mm-hmm. far as a voice like you are with Red vs. Blue? You know, I'm not doing a voice in Ruby yet, and i got to talk to somebody about the casting. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with this casting of not putting me in. No, um, yeah, no, so far, you know, the casting for Ruby has just been has been working out just really well, uh, just really serendipitous choices for people, you know, starting with Lindsay as the main character of Ruby. Um, I think that was just a home run, and she's been doing a great job. It really brings a lot of humor, but a lot of depth to the character yeah, too. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping I get to sneak in there later to another character. We'll we'll see. I uh, I can uh, I can lobby the top guy, ask him if it's if it's cool <laughs> to sneak me in. You can use the CEO card. Yeah, yeah, CEO yeah, that's card right. Put me in there. Exactly. Um. So, as far as Red versus Blue is concerned, I mean, from season one to season ten or eleven now, you like it's it's like night and day. I mean, yeah. Um, I remember working at GameStop when we got your season two DVDs when those first came out and then seeing how you guys progressed from, you know, from the beginning to where you are now. Where do you guys see this going in the next five years? You guys see yourself still doing this? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we always get the question, how long are you going to make Red vs. Blue? Are you going to keep making Red vs. Blue? There's a website. Are, are you going to still be making Red versus Blue? You know, and uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah, I know. I mean, we want to keep making it. You know, we always say that as long as the fans are enjoying it and are are happy to see it, then we, we want to keep making it because we have fun making it. We love it. You know, and um, this is one of those years that's really great because with season ten, we felt like we had gotten to the completion of a really great story arc with Project Freelancer. Absolutely. And um, we've done this a few times before. We, we completed a story arc with Blood Gulch. That felt really good. And we completed a story arc with the Revelation series. That was, you know, felt really, really positive. The Recollection series, I should say. And then uh, Freelancer was a really tight-knit story. And now we're in this, this new place where we've been able to reset things. And we're really looking forward to getting back into the roots of RVB with the 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 blood gulch humor and the camaraderie and just kind of the, the the funny antics that the guys are known for that red versus blue is originally known for and uh exploring new territory yeah and that's awesome i mean i remember watching those you know all up until season 10 and just i mean especially the blood gulch chronicles are just hysterical yeah i mean all the jokes um and there and everything um, what what do you have to say about Ruby? I mean, that's a brand new. That's a, all yeah. your guys' brand new idea. Yeah. Um, and how did you guys? What was it like taking that leap of faith, saying, "Hey, we're going to come up with something brand new. Mm-hmm. And we're going to put it out." When being so well known for um, using assets from other games, right? To right. Well, you know, it, it is always um, a little bit of a scary thing because you know you you want to create new things, and when the audience is so latched on to the things that you've done in the past. We went through this with uh, shorts and our other live action material that we put out as well, thinking, you know, people know us for Red vs. Blue or they know us for Machinima, 
you know, and are they going to embrace us doing live action? Are they going to embrace us doing animation? They embrace us doing something really outside the bounds of what people would normally think like anime, you know? And, um, uh, we've always had the philosophy that, you know, if, if we like it and we, you know, do our, our best work and, and try to really make it good, uh, that we feel like it'll find an audience. And, and thankfully our audience has been so accepting and welcoming of, of new ideas and they've really embraced us trying new things that that's, you know, made it easier for us to, to take those leaps of faith and, and really go out there and push ourselves. So we're really excited about the direction that Ruby's going. We think it's going to be an amazing show. And we're also excited about trying uh, more new stuff that people hadn't seen before. You know, we got a few more tricks up our sleeve. That's awesome. And um, I just want to kind of wrap up here about the next generation of consoles. What what are your thoughts right now about what, like, you have Sony who came out swinging yeah. at E3 and yeah. Microsoft kind of taking the backseat, and then Microsoft coming back and saying, Hey, we're gonna wipe this, and then you know you can see the level of pre-orders from Microsoft to shoot right up as right. soon as that was over. Well, I, I do think it's good. I mean, as somebody who comes from the mindset of you have to communicate with your audience and your community, I do think it's good that Xbox, you know, and Microsoft they're they're listening. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, you say what you will about the the debut and and you know, kind of the hurdles that they had to overcome there. But they're clearly listening, you know, uh, and making some changes, which is great, you know. And I think um, that's been one of the things that the Internet has been great about is empowering the voices of people, gamers, online video enthusiasts, everybody. Because you actually have a forum now where you can communicate in large groups to, you know, an organization that otherwise might not have heard you. So I think that what's what's going on there is great, and I think we're going to see both those consoles uh, develop and uh, change, hopefully with you know feedback from uh, the gaming audience. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate your insight. Yeah. Um, and thank you again for coming. Yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure. We appreciate you allowing us here at RTX. We had a great time, and uh, we look forward to all that you guys do at Red vs. Blue. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. This is Don from Inglorious Gamer. We know you play.